So guys, here we go. Finally got a snap-on dealer, so I was able to buy the little snap-on pin light. I've had the Icon pin light for about two or three weeks now, as well as the Milwaukee light. All of you have been asking which one to buy, which one's the best, so here is our breakdown. First and foremost, size is key with lights. If you can't get it in a place to illuminate it, it's no good to you. Snap-on clearly wins as far as size is concerned, followed by the Icon, and then lastly is the big honkin' Milwaukee. Now with usability, Snap-on has their little pocket clip. They've got magnets here and magnets on the end. No pocket clip on the icon, just one magnet. With the Milwaukee light, you get a hook and also one very strong magnet. So the big question everyone asks is price. So the Snap-on retails for $81.25, the icon is $39.99, and then Milwaukee is $99.99 with a light only, or $159 with the wireless charging pad. So what good is a light if it isn't bright? We're going to look at the three main light outputs these lights give you. They give you a tip or spotlight. They give you a long LED bar and a short LED bar. Except for the Milwaukee, both LED front and back are the same length. Let's look at the snap-on. The spotlight's 80 lumens. The icon says 150. Milwaukee says 250. On the main light, Snap-on advertises 300 lumens, Icon 800 lumens, and Milwaukee 550. On the rear light, Snap-on advertises 200 lumens, Icon 500 lumens, and the Milwaukee 550 lumens. Now with the Milwaukee, you can turn the front and back on at the same time and have 1,100 lumens. The other two, you cannot. Now honestly, I don't have any kind of way to measure the light output of these lights. We've got to kind of go with the numbers here that they've given us. That said, we definitely know the Icon is brighter than the Snap-on in my actual using of it and testing it here unscientifically, but the Icon seems to overpower the Milwaukee that claims to be brighter in certain aspects. But the thing here is, with the Icon and the Snap-on, you get that bluish hue LED light. With Milwaukee, you get their true view LED light. And you can see that right here. We got the bluish white light and then we've got more of a soft yellowish light, more natural light from the Milwaukee. So final thoughts, which one to buy? Honestly, for the price, the Icon is a really good light. It's a good balance on size, light output and price. The Snap-on would have to be number two because of that smaller form factor. And the Milwaukee, unfortunately, is coming in last. It has that great feature with the True View LED light and it has the ability to turn on both front and rear panels at the same time, but 99 bucks for this, 40 bucks for this, and 80 bucks for this, uh, it's kinda hard to compete with the other two.